everyone, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com. Meet your new favorite apple cake. It's soft, moist, and so easy with just six ingredients. Perfect for last minute company. In the bowl of your mixer, combine six large room temperature eggs and beat on high speed for one minute or until foamy. Gradually add one cup of sugar and continue beating on high speed for eight to 10 minutes. Meanwhile, preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then in a medium bowl, whisk together one and a third cups of flour and half a teaspoon of baking powder. Now peel, core, and chop three Granny Smith apples. We love Granny Smith apples for this, but any crisp, sweet tart apple will work. Chop those into about a quarter inch thick pieces. The mixer has been going for about eight or nine minutes. Notice that a thick and fluffy ribbon forms when you pull up the whisk. It's just right. Quickly fold in one teaspoon of real vanilla extract for a little extra flavor and mix just until blended. It's important not to over mix this batter because you're relying on the volume of the eggs for the cake to rise. Now sift in the flour mixture in thirds, folding between each addition, and scrape from the bottom of the bowl to make sure you don't miss any pockets of flour. Continue folding just until all of the flour is incorporated and you no longer see streaks of flour. Now add most of your diced apples, reserving about one cup for the top. Fold just until combined. You'll need a nine inch ungreased springform pan and I have the bottom lined with a ring of parchment paper. Transfer all of the batter into the pan, gently smoothing out the top. Now scatter the remaining one cup of chopped apple evenly over the top. Transfer it to the oven right away and bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 50 to 55 minutes or until the top is a beautiful golden brown. Oh yes, this rose beautifully and it smells so good. Oh, I love that. So this has been sitting for about uh, 15 minutes in the cake pan. Then you wanna take a thin edge spatula and just run it around the sides to loosen it up from the pan. Easy, easy. Woohoo, look at that. <laughs> so tall and impressive, but so easy. And before serving, I love to dust it with lots of powdered sugar. Yes, and this cake is not overly sweet, so feel free to go crazy. <laughs> no one's gonna complain. <laughs> okay, let's get a big slice here. Oh, it's so soft and delicate. Yum, yum. You guys have to take a look inside. Ooh, look at that. Fluffy perfection. <laughs> Yum, I cannot wait to eat this. Clean up a little bit. Oh, look at that. Look at how tall it is and it's loaded with apples. Let's get a generous bite of this. You guys, this is absolutely delicious. It's a classic for good reason. You've got that super fluffy, melt in your mouth, airy cake, and every bite is loaded with that tart Granny Smith apple. This is a winner, and it's so easy. It's perfect for breakfast, brunch, or a really quick and easy cake for unexpected guests. This is a keeper. If you guys enjoyed this video, give me a great big thumbs up below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you later. This is good, seriously. And if you love easy recipes that require very little effort, check out some of our most popular ones right over here. And click below to subscribe. See that button down there? Click it now. <laughs> Bye.